So in this video we will be going over how to upload your product and your your sales letter and everything you've done previously up to your server um, to the hosting company that you set up way back in the this video here. Um, so what we'll be doing is we'll need an FTP program for that. So I'll show you which FTP program I use and um, go through the process obviously of installing it and then I'll show you how to take the files from your computer and then put them onto your server. So here we are at Google and what we need to see is a an FTP program. FTP is File Transfer Protocol. Um, there's several that you can choose from, but the one that I use is a, a free piece of software called FileZilla. So in Google, just put in a search for FileZilla, and it's a top result here. It's FileZilla-Project.org, and the option here is Download FileZilla Client. And then uh, I've actually already got this installed, but just click the download button here and install the, the product in exactly the same way as you normally would. So once you've installed FileZilla, uh, I'll just open it up here. This is what you should see. So uh, there's several um, parts to FileZilla. Up here is your hosting information. This is the information that you received when you signed up to your hosting. So your host information here, this is the, the address of the server. So what that is, is for example, the um, domain name that you used when you first set up the hosting. Um, so whatever that is, without the HTTP and without the www. It's just the, the domain name that you used when you set up the hosting. So whatever that may be, the name dot whether it's com, org, net, or whatever, um, that's what you need there. Uh, you can also use um, your IP address uh, of your hosting account, which you will be able to get from your cPanel. Um, but uh, see here is the the domain name that you use when you signed up, um, your username you created when you signed up for your hosting, and the password you created when you signed up for your hosting. But um, if you signed up for HostGator, uh, and I think they all do it anyway, uh, you should have an email with all these details contained within it. So you need to put those details in, and then you've got uh, some windows here. On the left hand side here, this is actually your computer. So this is all the files that you've got on your PC um, and all the different files and you can go through them uh, to find the files you're after. And then on the right hand side here is actually the uh, files on your contained on your server. So you can see here it's not connected to the server at the moment so there's no files to see. Um, so what we'll do is we'll connect to the server and then I'll show you where to find your files and then how to upload um, your product. Okay, so what we're going to do is we are going to um, locate our files on our server, our folder on our server rather, and upload the files um, to that to make it go live. So what I've done is I've found the, the file on my computer on the left hand side that contains uh, all the files in. So this is obviously the projects folder we've been working with. So you can see I've got my images there and then I've got all the web pages that we created. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm going to sign into my hosting account uh, by putting in the details at the top. Uh, so for example the host, the username and the password. Okay, so once you put in your details, click Quick Connect. And then you'll see all your files that are on your server come up. So you want to go to Public HTML. And then you'll see all the folders that you've got on your server. Uh, find the one that you uh, want to uh, access, so obviously your product name. And then once you've opened that up, then you're ready to transfer files across um, to your server. And then literally all you do is select the files you want to transfer. So for example, I'll just select these ones first. So obviously we've got, um, actually we don't need the thank you page because we set it up as a secure download. So we've got terms, um, we've got 
our special offer, our sign up, our privacy, our actual product, the index page which is the squeeze page, free report download page, the disclaimer, the affiliate page as well and the images page. So I'll just move that across. Okay, so those files have now finished uploading to our server and you can see here that we've got our uh, product files, we've got all our HTML files and our image files as well. And if we just quickly go to the uh, go online, uh, you can see here that our squeeze page is up and live, ready to start taking uh, email addresses to be added to our list. And our sales page is here as well. Um, with all of the content that we added to the sales page, uh, all the information, our guarantee certificate and our buy now button which links to GVZoo. So that is everything all set up, all on our server and all ready to go. So once you go through the process of rebranding your product, getting it all set up, um, creating your web pages and uploading it all to your server. The last thing to do, as I say, is go through and just test that everything uh, works. Uh, but if you follow the steps on in this video course, then uh, that shouldn't be a problem. Everything should have be set up properly and be working for you. And then all you need to do is start driving traffic through to your squeeze page and start building your list. Uh, and from that, obviously, then the your prospects will have uh, access to your sales page, uh, to your offer there, and again they'll go through the process of um, the relationship getting built with you. The more you send information to them um, through your newsletters, um, so that is it for me. Uh, I hope you have enjoyed this course and found it informative. And thank you very much.